Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to talk about streaming to YouTube with Open Broadcaster System or Open Broadcaster Software. Um, so I already have a YouTube or a Google account created and I've already logged in. So you can, if you already logged in, you can see the icon uh, in the top right corner of your, your user. Um, and the first thing we have to do is first off, log into YouTube and download the Open Broadcaster Sto uh, Software or OBS Studio. So if we go to obsproject.com, you can see OBS Studio for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Um, so get this and download it. And whenever you download and install it, it should look something similar to, to this. Okay, hopefully not uh, so messed up. Okay, so it'll look something like this. Okay, the refresh rate's a bit weird because I'm recording. All right, so you'll notice now um, you can already see the audio uh, working. So my mic is already working. Um, and let's go back. So we've already downloaded OBS Studio. Let's go back to YouTube. Okay. So once you're in YouTube, click on your user's icon and go to Creator Studio. Go to uh, Channel first. And then on Live Streaming, make sure Live Streaming is enabled. You want it to be enabled. So if it's not enabled, click the Enable button. Um, it takes about 24 hours, one or two days to um, enable live streaming. So make sure you click the enable button and let live streaming be enabled. Uh, you won't be able to stream until this is actually uh, set up. Okay. So once uh, you click enable and you're approved, then you can start streaming. Click on live stream. And then you can set your basic info. This is, for example, the info for um, uh, uh, the title of the video that you want to uh, create or the title of the stream you want to create and then the uh, description of the stream you want to create. Uh, category, privacy. Make sure your privacy is either public or unlisted. Okay. And then what we're interested in are basically two things here. So uh, first off, the server URL and the stream name or key, which I'll come back to in a second. And then the share. So under share, uh, click on YouTube. And then this share link at the bottom right hand corner is the link to my stream that we want to give the conference organizers. Okay. So if I open this up in another browser, we should be able to see at least the stream, but it will be offline. Okay. So let's say this is the uh, uh, normal user stream uh, that we would have. Okay. So this is the stream, uh, stream live 30 minutes ago. It's offline right now. Okay. So this is what the users would see. And this is the, the uh, link that the, uh, you, that you need to give the conference organizers. Okay. So now we actually need to start streaming. Notice it's offline right now. So we can open up, um, open broadcaster software. And then the first thing we have to do is set up the stream. And the easiest way to do that is to go to Tools and Auto Configuration Wizard. Okay, Tools, Auto Configuration Wizard. The default is optimized for streaming. Recording is secondary. Select Next. Uh, keep the defaults. Select Next. And then what we want to do is stream type streaming services, YouTube, primary YouTube ingest server. And then for the stream key, we need to add our stream name or key. So then click Reveal get your stream key, which I'm going to change this, so don't try to connect. Then we can click show and paste your stream key into, into here. Okay. Video bit rate, just keep it by the default. I've never had problems with the default. Then click next, and then it will configure open broadcasting software um, uh, for um, the frame rate and the resolution that fits your, your connection best for streaming. Okay, so that'll take just a second. And then now it's done. Just accept whatever it found and then click apply settings. Now, if it couldn't connect, um, then most likely your stream key was wrong, right? So uh, make sure your stream key is correct and then everything else should be okay. Now, if you have open broadcast area software already and you don't have the auto configuration wizard or it did not work then you can go to edit uh where was it oh sorry file and settings file and settings and then click stream and then you can also select streaming services youtube youtube gaming 
primary YouTube ingest server and then set your stream key here. Okay. So you can either do it through the auto configuration wi wizard, which I recommend, or you can do it through file and settings and then stream. Okay. So now we actually have the stream connected, but notice that nothing, there's nothing there to stream. You can see the audio, but you can't see the uh, video. That's because we have to set some sources. So in our scenes, um, we need to configure at least one source and I'm going to configure my webcam as the source. So click the plus menu and then I'm going to add a video capture device and I'm going to call this video capture device webcam. Okay, then click OK. And then now the webcam has, has been enabled and it's already uh, kind of seeing me. So de under device, you can select which device you want to use and webcam, a USB 2.0 webcam device is the only thing that's, that's an option here for me. Uh, if you have a camcorder that actually does streaming, you should be able to select it here. Okay. So I'm going to leave everything else default and click OK. Now I'm also, um, this is okay if you want to um, just show someone who's speaking real time. Uh, maybe they have their presentation behind them and then you can see them plus their presentation. Or um, if you want to show the presentation on a desktop without showing the person, you can set up another scene. So I wanna click plus to scene, um, say desktop, click okay. And then I want to add another capture source and I'm going to do a uh, screen capture device or XSHM. Okay, screen capture, that's just desktop, click OK. Now I screen one, so I've selected the screen I want, OK. And then we have our screen capture. So now I have my scene and I have my desktop. And notice whenever I select each scene, it fades between them. Now, if you have somebody who can help you um, while you're recording, and I highly recommend somebody uh, helping the presenter whenever they're recording, then they can switch between scenes depending on uh, what, what it is that you're trying to present. So if you're trying to show a program or you're trying to show a, a presentation only, then you can select desktop. If you're trying to show the, the presenter, you can click back to scene. So uh, that would make your presentation a little bit more interesting than just having a static camera, but you have to have somebody there who's uh, controlling kind of the situation. Okay, so now we have our sources set up. Now we want to stream. So I'm gonna reduce this a bit. So this uh, was our uh, logged in um, main user page. Okay, so now I can click start streaming and then notice down here, CPU 60 frames per second um, and it's green and then it's starting the stream so that everything's looking good and then in about 20 seconds or so it should uh, show up as the stream. Yep, okay. So now uh, notice f we, have, we have our OBS actually streaming to YouTube. So we've already connected and we have our source. Okay, now there is a very long delay. So if you saw the last video on Chrome to YouTube, the video delay was about maybe a little bit less than 20 seconds. But right now I'm going to lift up my arm. So I'm gonna lift up my arm now. That was about, that was about, uh, almost 30 seconds, 25 seconds, something like that. Okay. So there's about a, a, a 25 second delay, um, uh, for my connection. And I find that to be very consistent. Okay. So now we're streaming live. And if I go to the actual user, um, there's also a little bit of a delay between the, uh, stream, uh, the direct stream and, um, the, the, what the user would see. Okay. Um, and the reason for that is basically because we're uploading and downloading video, uh, multiple times. So there will be a little bit of a delay, probably about, um, you should, you should guess about 30 seconds. Now at the same time, what the people will see is basically just your video live streaming, and then they can type directly like I have a question. Okay. And then there needs to be somebody there who can, who can chat or, um, hopefully the conference organizers will also be in the chat, 
Uh, but they can't be there all 24 hours, obviously. Okay. So, uh, that's pretty much it for open broadcaster, uh, software. Um, just make sure that you can, uh, see your audio levels. I'm just using the default, um, uh, mic in. If you're getting too much audio in the red, then use the, um, uh, uh, sound or the volume manager to to keep it out of the red you want to be usually about um, uh, yellow if you can be yellow it, it makes a pretty good sound okay um, so just make sure in open broadcaster system you first need to set up the stream using for example tools in the auto configuration wizard or um, uh, file and settings and then stream and you need to set up the video capture device, video capture device to either be the webcam or your desktop. But um, if you're going to be uh, using multiple um, uh, multiple speakers, I recommend uh, a webcam. That way people can actually see you presenting. It'll be much more interesting that way. Okay, so open open broadcaster system is relatively easy to use. It's free and it's available for all the major operating systems. So. Um, this is one I recommend if you want a little bit more control over over the system than what Chrome gets you. But Chrome overall is easier to use. Open Broadcaster System has more features. Okay, so think about that. Uh, the thing I didn't show is while you're streaming, if you want to change scenes, you can click on desktop, for example, and then we switched over to the desktop and now we have a different view. Um, so you can set up scenes to be multiple desktops. You can set up, for example, uh, one desktop to be um, uh, your PowerPoint presentation, one desktop to be a program that's running like a demo, and then one uh, that's your webcam showing uh, the the user or the, the speaker, for example. So um, I encourage you to play with Open Broadcaster System. Again, don't worry so much if the video quality isn't high def. What's more important is very, very good audio quality. So um, work on getting the audio quality as good as you possibly can. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you very much.